Welcome to Mimi's Math Channel. Today I'm going to solve system of equations with matrices for word problems. So as you can recall from another video that I did, we're going to set it up using three different matrices. One is going to be for the coefficients. It can either be a two by two or three by three. This is a three by three times the variable, which if it were two by two, it would be x, y. And in this case, since it's three by three, it's going to be x, y, z. And then you want to set it equal to the constant matrix. For example, one, Journey and Agar 2 are selling cookie dough for a school fundraiser. Customers can buy packages of white chocolate chip cookie dough and packages of double chocolate cookie dough. Journey sold 12 packages of white chocolate chip cookie dough and 14 packages of double chocolate cookie dough for a total of $508. Agar 2 sold 9 packages of white chocolate chip cookie dough and 7 packages of double chocolate cookie dough for a total of $311. Using matrices, find the cost of each one one package of white chocolate chip cookie dough and one package of double chocolate cookie dough. I would identify my variables. So I have X, which we're going to say is going to be the white chocolate chip cookie dough and the Y will represent the double chocolate cookie dough. All right. So now what I want to do is just go ahead and set up my systems. I see that Journey has 12 white chocolate chips. So that's going to be 12 X. And then she also has 14 double chocolate. So that's going to be 14Y. And she had a total of $508. Now, Agar 2 has nine white chocolate chip cookies. And then she has seven double chocolate. And that is a total of $311. So now I'm going to use a matrices, which is in this case, is going to be a two by two. So I'm going to go ahead and set that up. And I'm going to use my coefficients, 12, 14, 9, and 7. And then I am going to multiply that times the variable matrices, which is X and Y. And I'm going to finally set it equal to 508 and 311, which represents my coefficient matrix. I'm going to label these. This is going to be matrix A, matrix X, and matrix B. And what I have to do in order to get X by itself is I have to multiply A by the inverse. And when I do that, it's going to give me my identity matrix, and then that's going to go away. But what I do to one side, I have to do to the other. So on this side, I'm also going to multiply the A inverse times B. But before I can and do that, what I need to do is find the determinant. And I need the determinant in order to do the A inverse. So I see for determinant of A, what I'm going to have to do is multiply diagonally the 12 and the 7, and that's going to give me 84. Subtract it from the other diagonal, which is 9 times 14, and that's going to give me 126. So 84 minus 126 is negative 42. And I know when I'm trying to take the inverse, of A, what I have to do is set it equal to 1 over whatever my determinant was, which was negative 42. So then I'm going to swap the first and the last element. So this now becomes 7, and the last element becomes 12. And then the next two elements, I just change the sign. So this now becomes a negative 14, and this becomes a negative 9. Now that's A inverse. Now I'm going to multiply that times B. Well, B is the constant matrix. So that's 508 and 311. I'm going to bring this down. And and then I'm going to multiply the first row times this matrix column. So that's going to end up being 3,556 when I multiply 7 times 508. And now I have to take the negative 14 and multiply it times 311 to get negative 4,354. So that's going to leave me an answer with negative 798. Then I'm going to go on to my second row in that same column. And that gives me negative 4,572. And then when I multiply 12 times 311, I'm going to get 3732. When I combine that, I end up with negative 840. So now I'm going to take negative 798 divided by negative 42, and that's going to leave me with 19. And I'm going to take negative 840 and divide it by that same negative 42, and that leaves me with 20. So my X is 19 and my Y is 20. You just have to set it up as matrices, or you may see it written in coordinate form. Moving on to example two, 210 people attended a school carnival. The total amount of money collected for tickets was $710. Prices were $5 for regular admission, $3 for students, and $1 for children. The number of regular tickets sold was 10 more than twice the number of child tickets sold. Write a system of equations to find the number of regular tickets, student tickets, and child tickets sold. Solve the system by using a matrix equation. So I see that I actually have three things going on. So 
I am going to identify each one by a variable. So for my X, I'm going to label that for my regular admission, my Y for students, and my Z for children. All right, so now what I want to do is look at my word problem to try to figure out how to set up my systems. I see that I have 210 people, but I have three ticket types. So I have X plus Y plus Z is going to equal 210. And then if I keep reading, I see that I have a total amount of tickets tickets for $710. And this is the cost of each one. So for the regular one, I had five. And then for students, I had three. And for a child, I had just one. So I'm just going to label that Z. And it said the total was $710. X is going to equal 10 more than twice the child's ticket. And child's ticket is represented by Z. And now I have my three systems. However, I need the last one to actually have, be set up where X, Y, and Z are on the left-hand side of the equal sign and then the constant is on the right. All right, so I'm going to rewrite this. I have x. I have to move that 2x over, so that means I have to change the sign and then I'm going to set it equal to 10. I notice that I don't have a y, so I'm going to have to remember to put a zero placeholder in my matrices. On the top for my coefficients, I have 1, 1, 1, 5, 3, 1, and I'm looking at this one now and that's going to be 1. I don't have a y, so that's 0 and then negative 2. So now now I'm going to multiply that times my variables, x, y, and z, and I'm setting it equal to my constants, which are 210, 710, and 10. So this is a three by three, and I told you in class that you can use the calculator for this, but I still want to label it. This is a, x, and b, and I'm still doing the same thing. I'm multiplying times a inverse, which is going to create the identity matrix, and that's going to leave x by itself. And what I do to one side, I do to the other. I'm going to go ahead and bring this down as X, Y, Z. And what I'm going to do is in my calculator, I am going to go ahead and put in my A as well as my B matrices. You go to second matrix. And if you see that you have some matrices in here that you're trying to get rid of, you can just go to second plus number two, and then you go down to number five and then just start deleting what you don't need. And now you can go back to second matrix and go to edit and start your process. So we have a three by three. So we're going to type in three, enter three. Each time we want to type in something, we have to enter. You want to go to second matrix, go over to edit. Now go down to number two, and we're going to enter in our constant, which was a three by one. That was 210, 710, and 10. So we want to go ahead and just second mode. And now what we're going to do is we're going to take our A inverse, and we're going to multiply it times B. Go back and select A, which is second matrix. Hit enter, and now hit your X inverse multiplication sign and go back to second matrix and select B, enter. And you want to hit enter one more time. And that's going to give you your answer. X is 70, Y is 110, and Z is 30. So if you want to go back and test to make sure it's true, you would take 70, which represents your X value, place it here. You would take Y, 110, place it here, Z, which is 30. And when you add all of those and this one, it should be 210. Once you substitute them here, it should be 710. And then once you substitute this information, in using this one, it's going to give you that constant number of 10. That's how you know you did it correctly. Thumbs up, subscribe, have an awesome day.